There's a Chinese manufacturer called Seed Studio, Seed with three E's. So, start by going to seedstudio.com. On the left side, we'll find services, so click on that. Then we'll find Fusion PCB service, so click on that. And on this page, you can see uh, there's a lot of uh, descriptions on how you can get your board manufactured. So what we're going to do here is to find the Eagle Design Rule and click to download that one. So save the zip file somewhere, you'll find it again. So we'll go uh, to the, our download and we'll extract the zip file. And when we look inside the folder, we find a Drew file and a CAM file. We're going to use both of these. First, we'll do an ERC check to see that the schematic matches the board layout. Here, we'll see that there's no errors, so this is good. Next step is to do a design rule check. The design rule check checks your board layout to see if you have broken any of the manufacturer rules. So click on DRC and then we'll click on load. Then we'll browse to the folder that we just extracted and downloaded. And here we'll find the file called Fusion Eagle Rule Drew and then click on check. And we'll see down here at the bottom it says DRC no errors. That means we're good to go. So the next step is to create the Gerber files. To do this we'll click on the CAM button up on the toolbar. Now we need to load a CAM job. So we'll go to open job. Now we're going to use the other file that we just downloaded from Seed Studio. So browse to your folder again and then select Seed Gerber Generator uh, blah 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 dot cam. Click open. Okay, the job is loaded. Now to create the Gerber files, click Process Job. It asks for saving, just click yes. And now the files are generated. The files will be located in your project folder. So, so the next step is to browse to your project project folder. Here we'll see there's lots of different files. So, in order to figure out which files we need to use, we'll go to Seed Studios web page again. Here it says which files you need to send them. Okay, so now I'll just select all the files they'll need. See GTL, GBL, GTS, GBS, GTO, GBO, and the last one is the TXT. So I'll choose this, to right click, and put them in the zip file. Call it Arduino Shield Webinar .zip. All right, and this zip file is the file we need to send to Seed Studio. So if you go on the top here, see choose file button. Let's click that one and choose the file we just created. Open. And we'll choose choose the correct option. So you want 10 pieces, so two layer, 1.6 millimeters, 555. Here you can choose the color and Here's an overview of how to do it. It says upload your design. Yes, we've done that. Fill in the PCB parameters. We've done, we have done that. And the last thing is to add to cart. So we're ready to add to cart. Click add to cart. So just go to check out and fill in the necessary checkout information. And then you will soon receive a PCB in the mail. I've ordered from Seed Studio several times. Uh, I'm located in Norway and it, for me it usually takes about three weeks before I receive the circuit boards from them.